everybody, this is Michelle from Redbud with a tip on how to protect your newly planted tree from deer browse. As you know, planting a native tree is one of the most important ecological contributions you can make in your space. If you live in deer country, you need a plan to ensure its survival. And one of my favorite ways of doing that is using metal caging, lightweight metal caging that's coated in, in a black uh, color so that it blends in to the environment. What we do is we use a piece of rebar or a sturdy metal stake. You could use a wooden stake, but I like rebar because you can reuse it. As your tree gets older, you can use it on a smaller tree. So you find a spot to, to hammer this in until it feels, feels pretty sturdy. And if you have a small tree like this little post oak here, you might just need one stake. If you have a larger tree, consider using two stakes. Then take your, your uh, metal caging, which is very lightweight, put it around the rebar and your tree. And then because it's so flexible, you can lift up this caging and sort of bend it in over, over the stake to hold it in place. And I find that that's enough to keep it upright throughout the seasons. And then to secure it if on the other side, it's very simple. You're just gonna use the cut pieces of metal on one side to bend around the caging on the other. And I do this about three places on the cage, top, bottom, and middle. And that way, when you return to your cage twice a year to do maintenance on it, it's very easy to open. And you want to do that because there often will be vines growing up the side or weeds or grass that's grown up around the base of the tree and you wanna clear those out um, so that your tree can grow in, in a healthy way. And this is so important to plan for right when you plant your tree, when you have heavy deer browse, because they can rub the tree down the very first night. You'll, you'll just be very disappointed to wake up the next morning. Protect your, your trees with these cages. We're gonna have them at Redbud. Often it's expensive and sort of cumbersome to buy a, a big roll of this. So we'll have them here. We'll have a five foot height, which is what this is, and a six foot height as well. Two foot diameter and a three foot diameter option for larger trees. I like to put a cage on that's big enough to accommodate all of the branches of my newly planted tree to, to give it a good chance um, as a start. So I hope that's a good tip for you and we look forward to seeing you.